Welcome everybody to another episode of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. We've been off the air for a little while with Easter, holidays and lockdown, but we're back and we've got a whole new a lot of things to show you. We've got our new sew along that starts. Martin's going to have a tip. Uh, James is going to be in with the competition, the photo competition details. Uh, Alison's going to be joining me and we're going to be talking about our floral designs. We've got many of them to talk about. So stay tuned for all that excitement. Hey folks, long time no see. We've been super busy here at Sweepy headquarters and we haven't had a chance to film a new episode of Sweet Talk. So very sorry about that. But we are back with another great episode looking at all our flower inspired designs that we offer on our online store. It's always heaps of fun filming a new episode of Sweet Talk because even we forget some of the amazing designs we have brought out from the past. Easter has also just come and gone so I'm hoping that you had a nice holiday break and are feeling nice and refreshed. On every episode of Sweet Talk, I like to set a photo challenge based on that week's episode of Sweet Talk for a chance to win a $20 gift voucher to use on our website. This week's photo challenge is sent in a photo of your favorite flower inspired design from Sweet Pea that you have stitched out. Send in your entries to the email address on the screen and the entries will be closed on the 15th of April. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the episode. Stay tuned to find out the winners of last week's episode's competition and for the helpful machine embroidery tip from Martin Smith. So I'm joined this morning with Alison and we're going to talk about our summer long morning, Alison. Hello everyone, how, how are you? Your, how was your Easter? It was wonderful. Well, actually I spent it with you. Yes, it was good, wasn't so, it? Yes, we went camping, rained all weekend. Well, first of all, we didn't know if we were going to go camping because Brisbane was in That's a right. lockdown for three days, but it was lifted just before yeah, we were, we were very the lucky. Easter weekend, so yeah. we have been lucky. Yeah, but and then it just poured. And rain. there was a lot of mud, but we had we to had just fun. embrace the mud, otherwise we would have been... Annoyed. We were happy like pigs in mud. We were like happy. <laughs> Then lots of washing when you come home. Yeah, that's the worst. Mm. Right. Anyway, I hope everyone else had a lovely break too. It's actually our autumn here in Australia and normally it is a, a bit wet. Um, we do get a rainy season around this time of year. Mm. Um, with autumn too, we, we've got a lot of our floral designs, but we figure where we are, we've got flowers all year round. So it doesn't matter yeah. whether it's spring, autumn, winter, summer, we've mm. got flowers around us all the time. Yeah, we do. So this is our sew along and it's a field of flowers. So it's just started the beginning of this week. So this is about our third day. There's day actually in. already a couple finished photos being posted. Yeah, and they, it's amazing how different yeah. they look to yeah. ours as well. So James is doing a bit of a close up. It's done in, um, this one's been made in six by 10. So these are panels. So there's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five panels. One, two, yeah. three, four, five panels. You can hardly see where they join. I think Cassie made this one, so yeah, she, she did, did a great job picking she did all the a, She used a lot of um, calf facet in that yeah, one. She did. And, and then batiks. They're really good batiks for um, skies and landscapes. Yeah. So and as per usual, uh, there's a video that James and Cassie have yeah. made on the basically yeah. the complete table runner. I think they did the panel and then they show you how to add the binding yeah. and the... So you, you need to read the um, written instructions that come with the files, but the video is just sort of like a bit of an add-on so that you yeah. can watch it in We like junction. to do that for our Sew Along products. Yeah, because um, a lot of people are visual, they like to see yeah. that. Yeah. So um, this is beautiful. So it's got lots of applique. Is that flip and fold? Those no, they're applique. They're not, they're just applique. And just lots of beautiful stitching. Yeah. In the clouds yeah. and all the quilting on this makes a big difference yeah. especially if people use the planar colors and yeah. you can really see that quilting yeah and then with our instructions you also get how to do the binding and the yep. borders and everything on uh, this. and do you get the discount code did you say that it's in the Facebook um you need group. to join our sew along group it's um a separate facebook group to our main one so it's the april sew along group every month the name of the group will just change to that current month yep. once you're in that group i have a pin post at the top of the group that will have the, the discount code and you'll get 30 percent off the, the price of that design just for the while the sew along yeah, is going it's a bit of a bargain too yeah and then you get the added the group's great because you can look at everybody else's work and get inspiration. Yeah. I think I've said it before, when we first started our sew alongs, everyone was really keen to jump in and do them. Now people kind of wait. They and, do wait till and they've they wait got to a see what other ideas, people are doing. Yeah. So um to, to get ideas for the fabrics because the fabric selection's 
sort of pretty important in yeah. this, isn't it? This one. Yeah. And today we've surrounded ourselves with lots of flowers. Lots of flowers. So we've I'm actually designs. loving Sweet Talk because we go through all our stock yeah. uh, samples and we're pulling out things that have been around for years. And I've forgotten, like this one here. Yes. I forgot that existed. Yes. And I forgot the name of it. Shapely Floral Tote Bag. Yeah. I think I have to read it a tag. Yeah, so this can be done in a 6x10 or a 7x12 hoop. Yeah. That's done in the 6x10. And uh, there's been some really pretty ones. Yeah, so we did that one in neutrals, well. but it could be done in brights. These are called um, Japanese torps. Mm. And I actually bought these in Japan in, I think the street's called Tomato Street, and it's just absolutely full of yeah. fabric shops. Yeah. So it's, it's I brought home a whole set. I can't see um, in photos, but it's beautiful, the texture and the, the stitching yeah. in it and everything. And you and this is all part of the design too with the box drawn. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, that's a shapely tote I, bag. I just love getting Yeah, that's right. That's, that's an older one. And this is an older one too. That's how does your garden grow bag. Yeah. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, but the and good thing about that one, one is the 5x7, isn't it? That's why I designed this bag because a lot yeah. of people, if we just do our normal design like this and then it comes in 5x7, you end up with a smaller too bag. Small. So we wanted to, I think we've got a few now. We wanted to do some bags that you can just make in the 5x7 yeah. hoop and end up with a complete bag like that. Yeah, so you can see the little hoop things there. Yeah. And then the borders make it bigger. The instructions come to tell you how to do that. Yeah. So we've got some new, new designs yes. and we have a sneak peek as well. Yes. Some stage. This is an absolutely beautiful bag. Elsie. This is my favourite. I'm so clever. You are. <laughs> I've got a sister. <laughs> So you've managed to, you've used, we've, well, Cassie um, sewed it up and she's used the PU leather. That's our, that's our PU, yep. And our metallic zipper. It looks really nice in the metallic because you can, it makes the trapunto stand yeah. out a bit more because of the metallic yep. sheen to it. So this is called the Daisy Trapunto handbag. Put it on, Mom. Zipper, zipper handbag. Sorry? Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> they won't be able to see it. No, it's kind of <laughs> camouflaged. <laughs> It's pretty cool, you can make this, we've made it as a shoulder bag, but of course you could make it with a smaller strap yeah. and have a handbag. Now, the trick to designing this one was, so this this is a panel, mm. then that's a panel, etc. Now, if I had to put the zipper in this panel, we would have ended up having to use this as a pocket, you wouldn't be able to put your phone or anything no. in it. If I had have used the zipper in this panel, our trapunto area would have had to have been a lot smaller. Yeah. So in this bag, we put the zip in the side panel, but we add a lining to it and we'll flip it over behind this front That's so clever. So it took a little bit of working out. So clever. Yep. So, so yeah. instead of a little tiny side pocket going back that way, it yep. goes across the whole front. Yeah, but it doesn't ruin yep. the look no. of the front. No, and you put it so in the back as well? The back's the same. So if you don't want to do the trapunto on the back, you don't have yeah. to, but I think you probably would in this case. And this these side uh, panels have also got uh, crisscross quilting yeah. on it, if you can see that. I think these bags with the zippers on the outside are so handy because often I'll lose yeah. things in my bag, but this way you can keep your phone and your car, car keys, keys or something in sunglasses there. or your reading glasses yeah. handy yeah. and they don't get lost to the bottom of the bag. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can also <laughs> add uh, zippers inside the bag if you want. Yeah. Uh, we have the instructions on our blog and video and stuff on doing that. I've got the roll so. that Cassie used of the PE, so it's all in pieces now. Yeah. It'll come. It'll come in a roll like that. Yeah. But this is the actual roll that she's cut the piece from. So yeah. it's just, it's got a beautiful shine to it and it's very thin, easy to sew and work with. Yeah, you can see there it's, it's And then she's just nicely. used a plain navy on the bottom for yep. the base. And now zippers, of course. Yep. Which has worked beautifully, I've got to say. So this is a pack that I picked up. It's got the different colour metallics in it. So it's got the gold, the rose gold and the silver. Yeah. And this is one's 13.5. So this is a longer one. You can get a nine. Point five so this one. size here. So this, this won't be the right colour, but that's yeah. the size of the shorter. Yeah. yeah. So we have the choice of two. Anyway, so that's that new one. And then this other one. It's another Daisy oh. design, Alison. I know. She's gone a bit Daisy-ish. Yeah. Because I wanted to get this shape mm. at the sides. So those, the cushion is virtually bigger. Yep. Than uh, did I say cushion? cushion? Cushion. Pocket. I need a cushion, obviously. Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pocket. And I'm not in here. Cushion. Pocket, yeah. It's a cushioned pocket. It is a cushioned pocket. So, yeah, I wanted that 
side so you same thing you could yeah. put things in there there's lots of zips on this there's one here it's kind of like that french market that's that shape. would be perfect for your sunglasses yeah and then you put your phone and your keys in this one the thing i like with our panels when we do them too because they've got the batting in the in the hooping yeah it kind of adds that extra protection so that's, that's right for your phone or, or for your glasses, glasses too yeah. um on the back you can't really see it cassie's chosen to use out some of our beautiful cork mm. but there is a beautiful uh, floral quilting design there and if you used a planar fabric or it would stand maybe out. if you used a metallic PU like that or something that's a good idea. really there's just so many different so options this is PU they? that's faux leather there too yeah so this is that one oh. I think I've got so this is another cut up roll yeah nice and thin it's got a it's got like a, um, a pearless look to it this one yep but a you bit can of make it you can make it all in fabric of course of course you can so it's beautiful turned out nice and then these are the ones. You just go flower crazy. Yeah. Is this released? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Well, there you go. Now you're having a seat. Uh, this, this week. Oh, okay. okay. So if it's not released yet, it's this week. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what did you call this design, Alyssa? I can't remember. Is it a flower? Flower power. Flower, flower power. Zipper, power purse. zipper purse, of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So it's fully lined, no raw seams. Uh, just has a couple of zips on the front here where you could yeah a few things so you could put your credit card or something in there and very pretty you could put like a little um wrist wristlet strap on mountains it. so he's done the, well you've both done a combination of the pu leather and like floral fabric yep. but it could all be floral it could all be fabric yep. plain and the, i think the PU um, faux leather makes it more durable. We're going a bit crazy with it, actually. I'm well, just because feel... it's so nice. Because that... even when you've got a clutch bag, and you hold it in your hand. Well, if that was fabric, love, it could get I dirty. Just I just feel this. as if that'll last longer. It'll look better yep. longer. Anyway, beautiful. There's another one up there that's got some. Oh, I've got yeah. that pinned up there, so I'm going to that down. Another one I know too. Yeah. So a few of the other designs. This is our autumn flower, ta uh, flower table runner. Yep. So it comes with these five panels. There's different um, autumn flowers. There's the Milk and Must Daisy, Chinese Lantern, a Saffron Crocus, a Dahlia, and a Cyclamen. So um, again, we've just used fabric. We've used Hessian on those panels to give it a bit of texture. Lovely. But just to see the diff the sheen in the, the yeah. threads to make it look good. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And the sunflowers here, that's another table runner. That was a um, that was so long. long. That was a so long. Yep. Is very popular. Yep. What other flowers have we got? We have a, a floral zipper purse. No, it's a passport wallet. There's no zip in it. Oh, no, there isn't. A zip and no, sorry, but this section here fits your passports yeah. and your boarding passes, and there's some card pockets and stuff there. So we've actually you can use a camp snap or whatever you want, but we actually used a button and a loop. Mm. Actually, you could also put a little bit of um, Velcro. Yeah, anything. Yeah, I quite like that myself. It's easy. And then the other one's made in PU, so that's like, yeah, it's a completely different. Look. That was actually made while we were testing. Yeah. So we had to change the density of the stitches and everything. And that one had a zip in, which we didn't end up with. So just, just I think. Just that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, I'm, I'm not sure which is the right one anymore. It was a while ago. <laughs> Speaking about old designs, there's yeah. the cross stitch one. This is yeah. you haven't got we haven't got too many cross stitch ones. We've got a couple. They're a lot of work. Yeah. Digitising and everything. So but it come it just comes in a set of like there's four different roses. Yep. So there's three different roses and then the large mug rug. But they're they are they are absolutely beautiful to yeah. put, put them on your uh, duchess or sideboard or something. Mm -hmm. You know, with they the look jewelry like dish or something they? on them. Yeah, they look They'd make nice skips. Because you could easily put one of them in an envelope or something and yeah. post it to somebody. Yeah, you could. Um, we've got our floral boho, I think that's what it's called. We're having, I'm having terrible thing, no, things yeah. names today. We have too many to Floral boho so. clutch. Okay. So that can be made in the 5x7, 6x10 and 7x12. And this one was made in the 6x10. You can just tell by the size of it. A lady just posted on Facebook this week that she just did all the embroidery in black. Oh, isn't that nice? It was in black. Mono, it was black like monochrome. Or something. But it looked beautiful. Yeah, not to mention it'd be quicker to do. Yeah, if you used all <laughs> one, one colour. That was incredible. Yeah. And we have our flower zipper purse. Uh, this one is a bit of an experimentation mm. with felt, which is a, a gorgeous look. It's raw edge applique, but really the felt. Have we got the table, that table centre? 
No, I didn't put it on. Maybe we have. Well, anyway, we have a table centre that also has these uh, felt flowers on yeah. it. You can do them in fabric. But the good thing is, I yeah, did you, design when you trim it them, with felt in mind because yeah. when you trim the applique, they don't, it doesn't fray. No, so if you don't really like raw edge applique, yeah. that it gives one. a complete different look and to it as well. It's like a boho sort of look for that as well. Oh yeah, that were. I've got that pinned up there. That's all right. The felt flowers necklace. We've added into a necklace, but you can actually use that for anything. I think yeah, like if you made a handbag or something, you made the a few too. of these flowers, yeah. you could put, and this one's just like a different size in a single leaf, yeah. so you could pretty, put pretty them pretty. all, actually you could put them all over a flap, yeah. something like that. And once again, they're made in felt too. I love that look, so. Very uh, nice. A few of those. So we've got other things. Frederick made that for us, actually. Look at her beautiful, yeah, the beautiful beads glass that beads that, that she actually makes. Beautiful. Mm. We've got more, lots of spring is in the air. We've got our um, spring applique cushion. Yeah, that oh, that's a Hawaiian flower cushion, that yeah, one. Yeah, The spring applique is on one behind you. That I really oh. like that one, Alison, behind this one? you. Yeah. This is one of the, one of the original, original designs, yep. early on, so that can be done in four different sizes, five by seven, six by 10, seven by 12 or eight by eight. Yep. And it that's has a raw edge too, isn't it? No, no it hasn't not. got satin stitch around it. It has a, a looser sort of zigzag, or yeah. a loose satin stitch, which is zigzag basically, yeah. around it. So it's really pretty. So you can put that applique on anything, couldn't you? It doesn't have to be on a pillow. We've seen it on a lot of different things. Yeah. I love this one. Meadow handbag. It's a really nice shape. How gorgeous is that? The colours are gorgeous too. Yeah, look at the, and the beautiful flap, which is simple, but yeah. just that quilting. Yeah. And it's got the, it's like a zigzag type, which matches this yeah, shape down true. here, so it ties a it all together. A lot of thought goes, the girls put a lot of thought into the design. Yeah, what did you do. design this one? I didn't design this one, I think it might have been Emma. Emma, yeah. But yeah, it's gorgeous. And it, yeah, it has a rounded, that panel down here is actually rounded. Mm. So it's a beautiful shape with the rounded yeah. bottom corner. Instead of the box corner. Yeah, so. Very that's nice. That's one of my favourites. And we've got, um, Lots of mug rugs if you don't want, if you don't feel too ambitious and you don't want to do bags or whatever. It's a mason jar. A little mason jar. That was for breast, breast cancer. cancer. Uh, the breast cancer symbol is a pink bow. Yep. Uh, we wanted to make it our own sweet pea breast cancer symbol, so we've just added our flower and the word hope. Yep. And that's that's a charity gift, design. Beautiful gift to someone, and that's a charity design. Yep. Every cent yep. from every order goes straight to. Uh, breast cancer research in Australia. That's right. We've actually got a few um, charity designs on our website still, so if yep. you wanted to go to that tab on the website, you'll see them. This is the Flower of Strength mug rug, so that'd be a nice gift. And that's actually a gladioli, which is the symbol of strength. Yeah, for strength, sorry. And a little thank you mug rug. So why not instead of sending, if you wanted to send someone a, a thank card you card? Or something, yep. This is something that people will keep forever. Yeah. Instead of you know losing it in a drawer or whatever. You can, and actually, when on the back, before you lay this piece of fabric down, you could write. That's right. Something yourself, what you're thanking them for, or who yeah. it's from, or yeah. something like that, and just to, just put the hoop up the fabric and embroider that on, and then take the fabric out and just place it on here, yeah. like like you would normally a yeah. piece of fabric. Very thoughtful you, gift. Yeah, and the flowers are actually three D. Yeah, it's a pretty so, little thing. A little butterfly. A little butterfly. Well, speaking about insects. Can I do the oh. can I do the sneak peek? Our second sneak peek. <laughs> we are beside ourselves with this. Yeah. It may be controversial because there might be people who don't like this yeah, particular little bug. But the other part, this is this comes uh, as a set. Uh, the other is separate. There's, so there's something else. But this is a set. It's a placemat and some little coasters, and they are bees. Yeah. But they're absolutely gorgeous. We've used mylar in the wings. Can you see that, James? Catch the sparkle. If we move it, they'll. So we've used um, the black PU faux leather, which gives a sheen to the, the um, bee, mm -hmm. then yellow stitching, and then the beautiful opaque mylar that we sell on our website, it's in the wings. Yep, and it has a very loose embroidery over the top of it, so you can see the sparkle through mm. all the stitches, but you can sort of guide what colour you want the wings yeah. to be yourself. But it is just so pretty in real life. So that's just coming Hope through testing catching. now, and the instructions are just all being finalised, so mm. that won't be too far off. And there's something else with bees coming too. Yeah, I just they're just so lifelike. They're beautiful. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like bees so much until I saw this design. I went, oh, bees. <laughs> a bee. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So they sort of go with our floral flower week, it don't does. they? Sort of appropriate too, because our father is a 
entomologist, retired yeah. entomologist, which is like an insect scientist basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We spent our youth running around fields with test tubes collecting bugs. Oh, well, to, Dad. to give those to him, I'm sure he'll love the flowers and everything. Yeah, the bees. What yeah. do you think, Dad? <laughs> Sorry, watching. Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, we've got the, our spring in the air flag up here. Camouflaged up there. Yep. So that's done in three panels. That's beautiful too. It is beautiful. Yeah, a lot so of them are being see, posted as well yeah. in different colours, which look great. I think flowers really work well with applique. Yep. A lot of our things do have flowers. We just love beautiful vibrant yeah. colours and everything. And so we run out of time, so we'll just maybe give some names of things. So this, I think that's the flower pot the flower quilt. Pot quilt. That's a very old one, but that's beautiful. Have you seen that one close up, James? And then this is absolutely amazing. Actually, James made this one. Yeah. This is the spring run quilt block. So we've just made a little table topper with that. Yeah. And James sort of selected really strong colours. Basically they're, they're like the lanterns as, yeah. as well, so if you did a big quilt, yeah, it's amazing. All the different embroidery You, you, you could it. even leave the embroidery actually if you wanted to, but mm. it, it really makes it. So there's that one. We've got our pansy table runner up here. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, I can't remember. That's a daffodil. <laughs> a daffodil mug rug. Daffodil. Our flower, oh, flower cloth. cloth. That's fun to do. Mm. And that's our funky abstract flowers. That was a, um, <coughs> that was a that was sew along too. They're just beautiful. They could go on anything. That's really fun to do all the applique and the different what colours. What about like a little girl's dress with like these flowers around it as the border? Remy, I'll be getting you one of them. Yeah. And then, oh, I think that's a... Frangipenny? Frangipenny, yeah. The Frangipenny table runner. So that's fun to do too, actually. And we've seen lots of different variations. It looks of so colours. different when people yeah. use different colours because you can get them. different effects actually just by using. You could make a rainbow of the flower. Yeah, or, definitely. Or anything for that. All tones of pinks or yellows and then or something. That's our flower quilt and our pansy runner up there. Yeah. So anyway, have a look at the website. Yeah, you can just type we'll... in flower into the search bar, and everything that's got flowers, floral, will come up. Don't forget our wonderful. So along, it finishes at the end of April, so you've got plenty of time. Um, you can start whenever you're ready to start, there's, so there's no um, time limit on when you start. Um, what else do you need to know for that? We've got lots of prizes, oh, yes, so don't do. forget to post your photo. Um, we've got the rules of eligibility for the competition at um, the front the beginning. And we have some so first, on. second and third prizes, and, and also random, random winners, so, yeah. so everyone gets so a we try. So we win. try to um, be very fair with all of our judging. But again, it, We've only got the photo to go by to judge with, so yeah, it's in your best interest if you can take the best photo you can. If you it's know. blurry. Yeah, we can't, we can't really, really judge it that well. Yeah. Okay. That's, I think that's all. And um, so okay. stay tuned. James is going to be around um, next to talk about competition. competition. Photo competition. And uh, later on, Martin will be here too, Listen giving to some tips. tips. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Annette and Alison, for that segment. And thank you to all our viewers that have stayed to the end of the video. On the last episode of Sweet Talk, I set the challenge of sending in a photo of your favourite jungle themed design that you have stitched out. And we got some jungleicious entries. The winners of the $20 gift voucher are Pat Mortimer with her stylish triangle all shapes tote bag. And an extra shout out to Pat for the reason behind her making this bag. She made this bag for a friend that is raising money for a great cause, fighting against cancer. Well done, Pat. Enjoy your $20 gift voucher. The next lady is Robin Ford with her very cute In The Jungle bibs. This design is actually one of our projects on the beginner course. Well done, Robin. Enjoy your $20 gift voucher. The final winner of the voucher is Eleanor Gatto with her absolutely stunning peacock Rangoli table runner. The colors are just amazing. Well done, ladies. Enjoy your prizes. Also guys, we have a massive goal here at Sweet Pea on our YouTube channel. We really want to reach 20,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you haven't pressed the subscribe button now, make sure you do that. It's just that red button under the video. So press that subscribe button. And also always, we love to hear your feedback. So remember to leave your comments in the comment section. So help us get to 20,000 subscribers. Make sure you press that subscribe button now. Attaching a runner or a puller 
onto zip tape is easy. We're going to use a fork for this. So let's secure our fork to a surface, either the edge of your table, or you could slip it under the mat of your machine, but it needs to be elevated so that we can work under it. Now we're going to take the runner, which is, has come off the zip tape, we're going to take the runner and it's going to be with the top of the runner out towards us and we, do, we want to wedge it so as that the runner is wedged in the two middle forks of the fork itself. Then we're just going to gently push the tape on evenly. And there we have it. It's not hard. Not hard to do. You've got to have a couple of goes of doing it first, um, and then it'll become second nature. Very easy to do. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back next week with another theme design showing all our beautiful designs on our Sweet Pea website. Thank you for watching, have a good week and so on.